Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Today we're at the Epcor Tower in Edmonton. It's a 29-story building that's heated in part by something called earth tubes. That whole system sits about four stories down under this building and the air goes right through this grate into the system. So come on into the building. Let's go find out how earth tubes help heat this big office tower. Also called earth to air heat exchangers, an earth tube is a set of long plastic or concrete pipes that are buried below the frost line. They use the relatively constant temperature of the earth to preheat or pre-cool the incoming air depending on the season. Hello, my name is Tatiana Cherna and I am Operations and Facilities Manager for Epcor Tower. We are going to go deep into the recesses of Edmonton's Epcor Tower four stories below the grate behind Tatiana to discover earth tubes. It's all part of an innovative heating system in this 29-story office building in downtown Edmonton that opened in 2011. Now let's go down to the earth tubes. Okay. Here we are four stories below the grate that you saw at the front of the building. But here it is, a large concrete earth tube. Oh yeah, this is fresh air intake. Air comes down the shaft. Those walls are, they have glycol heating inside, coming from stuck condenser. And then air goes down, turns 90 degrees and goes underneath. Underneath the parquet, fresh air comes down from the shaft, as I showed before, and it goes below this parking level. And about around this area, it splits into different flows. One goes north, one goes east. Epcor's earth tube is this large concrete semicircle tunnel that travels 900 meters beneath the parkade floor. It handles 19,000 liters of fresh air that is preheated using free heat from the ground. Partially passive and especially active system because we have fans in the parkades that draw air through, through the tubes and then it, it, they push it into the building. But in a passive way, the air actually exchanges heat with the concrete and uh, sur surrounding concrete and uh, soil. So that is a passive system. Tatiana says the office tower's earth tube cools the air six to seven degrees in the summertime and preheats the air as much as 10 degrees in the winter, saving tens of thousands of dollars per year. Earth tubes pay for themselves very quickly in as little as 10 years. Earth tubes aren't just for big office towers. They can be used in a home context as well. The University of Alberta built an earth tube into their eco house. Well, they're not much to look at, but the cheap and easy earth tube is an energy saving system that should become a lot more popular in coming years as engineers become more comfortable with them. To learn more about earth tubes, visit greenenergyfutures.ca. We've got photos, a blog, and a podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.